time to find out what treasures did I find. So we went to both an antique shop and a thrift shop. So I'll show you what I got from both. To begin, my favorite find, these beautiful kid gloves, soft as, as, as baby skin. It's just amazing and it has beautiful embroidery on it and inside can you see that it tells you they were made where else made in France and I love them and they will definitely get use, that is for sure. So, I think I paid about 20 bucks, but I thought it was worth it. Next is, uh, this is also from the antique shop. I got these two charming postcards, and I'll tell you why I picked them. First one is, this is a Thanksgiving card, and honestly, these are pretty unusual. There are lots of these for Christmas and Easter, but Thanksgiving is kind of um, not as easy to find. So it was so charming with Grandma with the Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> so I had to pick it up. I don't know, $2. It was so worth it to me. And what I love is, this is now 100 and, over 100 years old, these postcards. And in those days, you didn't need a house number. You didn't need a street name. You didn't need a zip code. All you needed was the city and state. So this is to Mrs. Fanny Stevens. And that's all that was needed for her to receive this card. Is that amazing? It's so hard to fathom today. The next card I got is very unusual because it's not a holiday card. It's an event card. And this is uh, an announcement of an event called Rally Day. And I'm not sure what they're rallying. It's a church event. And this was to sent to Master Lloyd Hamilton of Clifton, Pennsylvania. Again, no house, no house number, no street name, no zip code, nothing zip codes weren't even invented yet. But <clears throat> Rally Day is some sort of church event and it uh, has to do with a uh, Sunday school. It says, in our school and in our play, doing something every day, soldiers of salvation, there is always work to do for his soldiers brave and true. Work for me and you, each in his own station. And it's so charming and unusual. So again, like $2, so I had to get this. Next, uh, thrift shop. I think it was 50 cents. And Shirley Ann of the Island. This is series number three. This is number three in the series of uh, the Anne Shirley Anne of Green Gables by uh, Lucy Maud Montgomery and I love Anne. I am Anne. So I had to get number three in the series. And this is going to be a really sweet summer read so I'm looking forward to it. Next, those of you who've been with my channel for a while, you know I love nostalgia. So I couldn't pass these up. I bought a bunch of magazines. This is a Life magazine, 1945. I tend to love Life magazines from the 30s and 40s because the advertisements, the articles are so special and unique. So um, let's take a look at, like look at this ad for the Packard car. And all of the advertisements had a World War II theme to them, and 
I just love that. And next is this Life magazine from the 19... Yeah, it's still 1940s. 1942. So mid-war. And just wonderful articles and graphics and advertisements. I just love it. It is so much fun to sit on the couch, a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, and just zone out for a little while and treat myself to a bit of nostalgia. So those of you who know I like nostalgia, you know about this video that I made, my nostalgia video. And if you've never seen it, click on that and let me inspire you to fall in love with all things old. <laughs> And look at this from the 1950s, 1954, McCall's. Don't you love the hat? This is going to be so much fun. So looking forward to this. So I treated myself to these. And next, from the thrift shop, this old print, hand-painted, and it is quite charming, isn't it? Now, I didn't buy this for the print. I bought it for the, the frame because I have a, another print that I, I need to frame. And I wanted an old, wooden, worn frame. And I found it for only two bucks. Two bucks there. So I think I did really well. Um, everything is, the whole thing is under $100. And I also got a lamp, a beautiful lamp, but uh, a friend of mine who's an electrician is just going to check it over for me to make sure it's safe and uh, fix anything that needs to be fixed because I only paid $4 for the lamp and it is worth it. So I think I did really well and it was really fun. You never know what treasures you're going to come home with. Well. Thank you so much for spending your time and your day here at the Apartment Homestead. And until I see you next time, God bless. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram. I'll see you soon.